the President of the United States. The last in his first term as president, Donald Trump's State of the Union address started with this seeming snub of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. In front of a rowdy and divided Congress, and in the very room in which the House impeached him just two months before, Trump heralded the American economy and its military might. I am thrilled to report to you tonight that our economy is the best it has ever been. Our military is completely rebuilt, with its power being unmatched anywhere in the world, and it's not even close. For all of these reasons, I say to the people of our great country, the state of our union is stronger than ever before. Abortion, health care, unemployment, education and even the newly founded Space Force were all mentioned. But a sizable chunk of his speech focused on foreign relations, with Trump boasting about rewritten trade deals with China, Canada and Mexico. Joining us in the gallery is the true and legitimate president of Venezuela, Juan Guaido. Regional politics also featured prominently, with Trump inviting Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido to the address. That move was one of a couple of items that seemed to garner support from both sides of the aisle. A bid to increase investment in infrastructure and the rolling out of internet to rural communities pleased both Republicans and Democrats alike. But that momentum was quickly lost when Trump moved on to the thorny issue of immigration enforcement. Tragically, there are many cities in America where radical politicians have chosen to provide sanctuary for these criminal, illegal aliens. In Immigration then proved to be the meat of Trump's speech. Republicans lauded his words on sanctuary cities and the southern border as Democrats expressed their disapproval. After a speech fraught with tension, Trump attempted to end on an optimistic note. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi clearly thought this speech was tone deaf. Fraser Jackson reporting there. No